ending scene? Where are we? I'm waiting, Cloud. <gasps> Showing the future. Sephiroth. Why those things? Let's finish this. Fate is not to be taken lightly, Cloud. Shut up! Come on. Of course, I don't have assessed material. Is that it? I'm waiting. Come, Cloud. Here we go. Do you dream of I see you. When she, can she go? slice through rock? Right for me. Don't overdo it. Come on. Well, this is bullshit. What? 
They didn't even see him uh, having low HP. What the hell? Good to go. I didn't do this. Seriously, stop interrupting me, you asshole! Of course the way had to be there. That's a cat. He can just do whatever. Oh, Aerith. Yep, Aerith, who is not Sorry, equipped for anything. Let's go. Oh, the I'm memories. Waiting. Of course. Seriously, just stop it already. Come on. The hell? Let's do this. It's on you. Tagging out. Taking over. And Tifa dies again. Almost. The hell? Ah, auto heal from Cloud. No, not fat chocobo. Sucks. What, twice? Three times? What the hell? Fuck you, die! It's on you. It's gotta give it my own. Fuck you, die! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Oh, it's not over yet. Let's do this right. My beg for forgiveness. Deal with that. Is 
stop attacking! You're cheating, you don't seem to have an ATB bar. Block? I can't do anything. Ride for me. Do your thing. I don't remember which infusion he did, but oh wait, that's doesn't really matter, I guess. Seriously, stop it already! What's happening? Just die already, I don't really care anymore. Just die. Thank you. Bye guys, it's, this is no... Just... Fuck you, Sephiroth. Next time. Alright, let's try this again. This time with a little bit more equipment here. Let's try this again. Don't 
all about me. Did you go? You know it. Beg for forgiveness. <laughs> Let's do this. Hang in there. No stop now. Strike hard and fast. Ready. Bring it! Ha!
lead the way. Thanks for coming to help.
What happens now? What? Yeah, yeah. Some big ass me meteorite illusion. Don't care, just wanna. Shadow Flare? What? some sort of countdown until doomsday and then I just die. You idiot! A complete idiot! You're all idiots! I shouldn't have used auto cure on her. and now Tifa is just fucked again. What? Stop it! <laughs> Finally! You asshole! I hate you! You're late. You're late too. Of course he controls destiny.
Can you do it? And the hallucination or this uh, pocket dimension stuff is done again. Yeah, of course they have to reference the ending of the original. Are you seeing the future again? Careful now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. What? Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Bait Luke moment or something? Oh. Never. I love this track and what they did with it. Since one can cloud phase, teleport. Final Fantasy VIII moment. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. What? Yeah, that's the title screen, all right. Just the wrong, wrong sword. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> This is inauguration, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, you lost your precious subject. Stamp. Stamp stuff. Uh, 
Wait. Was that all of them? And he lives still? What? Kinda. Hey, Cloud. You see that? I want just fix destiny or something. Here. Thank you. Rebuilding sector seven. Finally, some people that can carry stuff. there's something wrong with the timeline here. Oh, huh? Jesse's glove. Who saved those? Such a sweetheart. Daddy? Huh? Molly. I'll come back. So, what now? Uh... Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him! We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. Sure. Looking good in each though. Yeah. I'm in too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. <clears throat> is it raining? And here it comes. Hello.
Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. I miss it. The steel sky. Aww. I would be lost, drifting alone. The unknown journey will continue. Seriously unknown, because we have no idea what they will do with the rest of the remake. I can remake Project. They really love this kind of um, font tornado that did the same in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh man, now... <sighs> you guys probably are expecting me to start theorizing and trying to explain all the things we saw. But to be honest, I need time to rewatch this stuff and uh, think things through because right now it's so much of a chaos all around and it's it just fragments floating around my head, just like those fonts here, those texts. It's. Uh... I also know, not sure what to think about it. This uh, different timeline shenanigans, there's alternate dimensions, there's solution hallucinations, there's. Uh, future selves of characters that fight against uh, past selves, there's a test to go forward, or with a fate that try to keep fate in place and defiers of fate like in Final Fantasy XIII the characters. It's like, for now, for me it's kind of a mess right now. So I need to make sense of everything first, and then I'll probably throw together a video or something so that you guys uh, can be part of my whole thought process. It will probably be game talk number two. I still need to continue this series, definitely. And yeah. Also, I apologize for barely saying anything in the Sephiroth fight, the one uh, I managed to defeat. Because I really had to concentrate and not get myself worked up, because when I start myself get worked up, my brain stops working and I can't play anymore. Which you probably have noticed before, so... And it's also not really interesting, I guess. So yeah. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna disable the cam altogether, or the whole uh, voice track of me. Like the... Uh, what's happening now? Oh, it's just... yeah. Cast, Cody Christian, Brianna White, Britt Barron, John Eric Bentley, Max Mittelman, Gideon Emery, Matt Jones and Erica Lindbeck. All phenomenal voice actors in my opinion. President Jinra, James Horan, or Horan, Professor Hojo, James Sie, Sai, John DiMaggio, John Root, Erin Cottrell, William Slayers, Josh Bowman, Vic Chow, Arnie Pintoya, and William C. Steph Stephens. Stephens? And it's going too fast right now. But yeah, phenomenal work by the voice actors. Even some lines were weird, but all in all, I think they did a really good job at impersonating those, those characters and giving them life. Because in the original there was no voice acting, and it was text boxes, and limited character length, and limited animations, and no um, facial expressions whatsoever. So I had to work what they could back then, but now it's so much more. It's a completely new experience, the cutscenes, I really love it. And yeah... Um, 
I'll keep the review aspects uh, for our podcast because our next podcast on Sunday will be all about reviewing this game. And yeah, I need to think about everything first. I need to just have it have it simmer a little bit more, so to speak. Yes, simmer is a new word I learned a few days ago, what it actually means, and I keep using it right now. <laughs> simmer down, hotshot. I'm watching you. Anyway, great ending song. It's really good. It's really good. And also, I think they told Nobuo Uematsu, who uh, composed this theme, that it's about clouds standing in the rain and stuff like that, and that's why rain is in the background. Rain droplets. The waves that it that rain droplets cause. Now, some 500 years after or something. Oh no! But I hope there will be some scenes now because there is an empty space on the left. Hello. Empty space on the left. Hello. What are you doing? Ah, finally. Oh no! It's just uh, scenes from. Since we've already seen. Oh. Just reminiscing about the whole game now, right? I guess. Weird overlays, but I could work with that. But yeah. Ah, what a journey indeed. I couldn't really enjoy the last few hours because those fights were just messing up my head. And it was. So many weird stuff happening, so many over-the-top stuff happening, so many flashbacks to Advent Children and some Kingdom Hearts parts, which, well, mediocre, I don't know, mediocre memories, it was a bit weird, but I'm a type that has to, like, stuff has to, to settle for, stuff has to grow grow inside my head, inside my memory, inside my brain, so that I can actually work with all the information I got. I'm not someone that can immediately work with everything and then just draw conclusions. Well, I can, but those wouldn't be accurate. So I need some, uh, some more time to go over things, think about it, go back to certain scenes, make the connections and everything. I just need time to process everything, I guess. But, all in all, it was a really great experience. I li liked it. Battle system is very, very, very interesting. I'll be looking forward to what, to what they're doing with that in the later parts. I'm pretty sure there will be some tweaks. I'm also very interested in uh, the continuation of the story, if they're still keeping it like to the original, still. Kind of the same as they did in here. But I'm not sure if I like those those scenes we've already seen that were kind of either secret scenes or ending scenes of the original. Yeah, I know, we know that and they wanted to play around with that a little and uh, nostalgia crap and stuff going on, but... Might make sense, especially if certain scenes happen again or are uh, like the real versions of the scenes and extended version of the scenes in the last part to kind of tie everything together, that could be very interesting too. But yeah, that's that's about it for now. Also, so many expansions of characters, I loved it, because many characters in the original were just there. We had just a little glimpse on those, especially Avalanche. Excuse me. And now they're real characters with real backstories, with real interactions, and character development, sort of. I'm still wondering what happened to Wedge there in the Shinra HQ. Maybe, maybe those uh, pulled him away to get him out of harm's way or something, because he didn't belong there. Then again, we saw uh, uh, Bix waking up. Whoever managed to get there and extract him. Hmm, that's weird, kind of. Really weird. Not sure. And we haven't seen Jessie, we have seen her glove, so she might also be alright, because the thing is, as, as long as you 
actually don't see a character die and know that the character is dead and is dead and buried or whatever. Characters are practically never dead, e either in games, in television, in movies. It's very rare that you just assume that the character is dead and the character is actually dead. But yeah, there, you know there's also something called unconsciousness, so... Jesse and Biggs could just have been uh, unconscious because none of those checked for Pulse or uh, checked if they are really dead or alive. They did with Wedge, so Wedge was alive. They didn't do this with the other, other two, so that those are alive is kind of interesting and uh, new and intriguing in a way. <sighs> Not sure because... The thing is, in so many media, also in Kingdom Hearts, practically no one dies. Like the important people, none of them die. They just all keep living and even if they kind of die, they get brought back to life. Uh, it is the same in Dragon Ball and in many other media. Also One Piece. I think there's only one... No, three people that die in One Piece, I think, that I can remember, that, actual, that are actually dead. The rest just uh, is either was unconscious or something like that, even if they are almost torn to shreds and, and something. So it could kind of cheapen the way uh, they presented it in the original because to Avalanches and especially Barrett's growth, it is kind of kind of material or however you call it. It's, it's important to, uh, to Barrett's arc that they die. So I'm not quite sure if if I like that that they survived. I love it just for, from a personal perspective, but from a professional perspective, it's cheap in cer certain moments. It's good that Marlene survived, of course, because Marlene is Barrett's anchor. But those other ones, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'll, t I'll have to see. Wedge's inclusion was uh, was real welcome site because um, yeah of course he fell down the whole 50 uh, meters almost or half of that in the original and uh, was kind of dead on the spot sort of but Aerith took care of him so she could have just uh, fixed him up put him back together so to speak um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. Also, the whole what was what was kind of weird was that the whole plate fell down. But the sector seven area with uh, seven seven stuff, the slums area, maybe it was uh, too close or close enough to the to the border to sector six and the outskirts that it was kind of um, spared from most of the debris for, uh, falling down. That could be an explanation, but uh, everything there is just kind of still alive, just destroyed, but still there, not buried, like everything else. Yeah, a few things were, yeah, uh, I don't know. But that everything is still alive kind of bothers me a little bit. Also, did you see that? Uh, this little catchy cameo. Cameo. It was fun, kind of. And really, uh, represented Reeves' sentiment really well. And also foreshadowing for later. Kind of. So... Ah, what else is there? I don't know. Yeah, especially certain fights. I noticed one, yeah, one extreme gripe I have with the system is that uh, you can't foresee if you need all characters and how all characters need to be equipped. So as you've seen in my playthrough just now in the, in the last boss battle gauntlets, I wasn't prepared and the, the equipment, especially material, was completely screwed up. So I had to uh, restart the first time and I just died over and over again in Sephiroth. Um, I'm not sure what I will uh, cut out. I'll probably cut out all the fails uh, besides the first one. 
because then I restart it, set up all my my uh, characters, and started it, and died with Cloud alone before even Tifa showed up. And then I had to restart again, and I didn't notice that uh, it also reset my material setup, everything, even uh, the weapon upgrades. It reset everything as if I didn't do anything there. So this screwed me up again because Aerith was again materialless and Tifa couldn't heal. So it was screwed up again. So I had to restart again. And then um, redo all the equipment stuff. And then just hope I didn't die because this is really, really aggravating. If you, if you fail at the, at the battle, you have to re-equip each time, like from scratch. Let's say if you had a new weapon you didn't, you haven't used yet, but then thought, well, I need to use this weapon. You upgrade it all the way, which takes several minutes, for uh, for example. Then set up the material, material all right. Uh, check if all um, the armlets and the accessories are the correct ones. And then you try it and you fail. And then you can't just use or take this exact set up and tweak a few things. No, you have to do it all over again, which I, this is just a no-go for me. This is a complete oversight. This is crap. Crap times 11. And apart from that, everything seems to work fine, even battles. The thing is though, when, when you don't have time or don't have the opportunity to go into the menu, if uh, characters change between battles, this is also no go. It always happened in the original. You could there was also always a prompt where you could could uh, re-equip weapons, uh, re-equip characters each time, if, even if you probably didn't need to. But the option was there. Here, it's not. Sometimes the uh, square button, the menu button, appears in the lower left, and you can just hold it, and it will then jump into the menu after the scene is done, which happens after uh, you restart the battle. If you can't, if you're already in a scene or something like uh, before the Sephiroth battle. But that's about it. Because maybe you noticed it, but I didn't notice that uh, I had the oppor opportunity to enter the menu between the fights, between those different stages of the battle. Mostly because it's, it was probably one single battle uh, from start to finish against those uh, Orbiters of Fate. So maybe that's the problem, but still, it's uh, yeah, it's really weird. Even if you set up all characters, maybe the characters are completely set up wrong, and you want to change that, or you don't have enough materia, and your healer that's set up at the, as, as the healer is then kicked out of the party, and the other ones aren't really set up as your healer, and then you're screwed again. This is just, just an extreme oversight in the uh, gameplay department, in the game design department, from, in my view. They should give you more opportunities to uh, enter the menu and do stuff. Of course, it does kind of um, interrupt the flow, but it will prevent you from being screwed over by the game because you can't know what's what lies in, in front of you and you can't really prepare anyway. So this is the main gripe I have with the system here. But other than that, it's really well done, the fights too. Only if you don't really know about how the, the fights turn out or how you should do. Oh, nice. Trophy earned. All right, chapter selection. Let me finish this thought first. Um, nice, Tifa has one HP <laughs> because she died. Um, thing is, in some fights, la like against Rufus, you have no idea how to approach him. No, no whatsoever. So there is kind of a trial and error phase which is good, but also no, I don't know, it's uh, it's probably necessary because uh, if, if uh, there is no trial and error, the fights will become too easy and everyone will just breeze through the game, so it's actually a good thing. But for those who are not that well versed in the fights, just have so many retries sometimes or just bumble through the fight and then don't really have an idea how they, how they beat them, they just beat them. But I think this is a yeah, really hard line to, to balance 
extremely hard line, but in the end, like, it's, it's a net positive in that area because you'd rather create challenging battles, which are easily beatable if you exactly know what to do, which apparently people do, especially um, if you if you watch some some Kingdom Hearts uh, speed runs, they sometimes breeze through those battles with uh, just standard gear and low level Sora like it was nothing. Because if you actually know what you're doing, if you're able to block, dodge, and avoid all the attacks and stuff, you probably don't even lose a single HP if you actually know what you're doing, which is good design. So. I think this is pretty similar here too. Maybe you won't make it through without any damage because this is not really an action game. It's a hybrid, so it's still turn-based, and in turn-based you practically can't get away without taking damage, or you can't get away. With, yeah, you can't get away without taking damage. It's correct. So yeah, uh, I guess I just have to learn to get good <laughs> or something. But it was aggravating because when you're in, into a corner, you don't have to, do, you don't really know what to do, and you're just getting pummeled to death each time, and you have no idea what to um, do differently. Maybe because it's also happening also fast, and some you, some attacks you can't block, and it's not easy to to read the enemies that well. And yeah, this is frustrating, extremely frustrating. But yeah. It's a game after all, it's not really worth uh, fussing over, it's what I have to learn still, because I get angry too too fast when stuff just doesn't go as well. Well, this is an understatement, if it's really going badly and I have, I feel like being screwed over by the game, that's when I, when I get angry. If, if I just get damage and stuff and stuff doesn't pan out as I wanted to, that's fine. As long as I still see kind of how, what I'm supposed to do and I still see progress. There's no progress if I don't see anything and just game just thinks, fuck you. Then I have a problem with the game. Anyway, that's about it from for my rambling. Let's keep going here. Chat to selection has now been unlocked. Open the main menu and access system chat to selection to replay any chapter from the beginning using your current characters, weapons and materia. This is a great way to tackle uncompleted quests, find story elements you missed the first time through, and more thoroughly explore, explore Midgar. And I really love this one. It's kind of the better New Game Plus, because New Game Plus you have to start from the beginning and have to go all the way through. You just can um, go through a chapter. The thing is, certain scenes and certain outcomes depend on certain uh, choices you made in previous chapters, so we have to uh, play through all those chapters that kind of tie together again. But this is the same as in other story choice, choice story based games like uh, Heavy Raid and Beyond Two Souls and Detroit, for example. Those are the biggest ones. So I have a little bit of uh, experience with that. But it's good. It's cool. Art difficulty unlocked. Yes, I was waiting for this. Unfortunately, I was a little bit spoiled uh, for this. I just know it exists. I have no idea what's changed. But it's, uh, it's a shame that I was spoiled on this, on its existence anyway. Art difficulty is now unlocked and can be selected by going through, by going to chapter selection and, and playing one of the chapters. In this difficulty, items cannot be used and only HP is restored at rest spots. However, certain manuscripts are only available in this difficulty setting. So that means more SP. Huh. Okay. Oh, play lock? A record of your adventure can be viewed from System Play Log in the main menu. The log contains information from battle records to story branch. Oh, story branches! That's great! Oh, that's cool! That's really, really good. Because story branches, sometimes if you have no idea what else there is, you probably can guess here what else you have to do to get this, maybe. All the new futures, bonus EXP and AP. You will now earn twice as much EXP and three times as much AP. What? Okay, that's interesting. New Combat Simulator. A new Combat Simulator has become accessible from Hojo's lab. To test it out, select Chapter 17 from Chapter Selection. This is probably the uh, ultra secret super boss battle arena or something. <laughs> Skipping the bike minigame. The bike minigame can now be skipped from the pause menu. Oh, that's good, because it. There isn't really any benefit by to doing it, unless you're doing the one with Jesse. Because if you do good, 
you get the trophy and the uh, different scene. Yes, that has been spoiled to me too. I don't really know how it plays out, I just need to know that there, there is one. But first... Save. That is very, very important. Save. And of course, my completion save is on save number 7. What a coincidence. This is interesting. So, yeah, that's it. I think I'll stop rambling now because there's nothing else, I guess. Because let's see what happens when I exit this. You cannot leave the main menu at this main menu at this time. You can now replay any chapter from the beginning by X. Ah, uh, okay. Be advised that if you return to the title screen without file saving your game data, you will be unable to use this data in subsequent playthrough. What? If you return to the title screen without first saving your game data, oh, they mean right now what I just did right now. So okay, that's, yeah, that's true. You need to have have it saved. So. You need this save game, where you have saved or where you have uh, finished the game, and only from this one you can use chapter selection to go even more uh, through more. So that's that's good. I might, I might want to make a copy of this save and use that one to go forward, and delete the other ones because uh, I don't need that. Then I have two ones, two saves, one for. When we're, when, one at this point in time, the completionist, or the completed save game, at least story-wise, and the other one where I can just uh, screw around a little. But yeah, I've saved. That's it for, for now. I've said my piece. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not sure if I'll be doing any more Let's Plays for the moment, because those take a lot of time, and I don't think I'm really made for this kind of content. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future, but I will let's play the second part if it ever comes out. <laughs> so for now, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please stay safe and take care of yourselves. Vizuvasath, signing off.